Hello and welcome to Transformers Toy News. As usual, we're beginning with new images of Masterpiece Star Saber. Images from Takara Tomy Transformers Twitter show Star Saber posted on top of the V Star module, revealing that the shield accessory also becomes a flight stand. They also posted images showing that the sword will feature a smaller blade and handle for Saber to wield, and that it can be stored in the V Star module. In hand images have begun appearing of the freshly released MP Wheeljack. We finally get a close up look at the figure in robot and alt modes and surprisingly he also features a hidden face which has a moustache and a strong resemblance to the animated Wheeljack's head design. Thanks to Weibo user zayux one s for images of this discovery. Takara Tomy have teased decos of Legends, Swerve, Tailgate and Brainstorm. They've posted thumbnail images on their website but there are no full shots in the Takara Tomy product catalogue just yet. From these images we can see that Swerve and Tailgate both feature darker colour schemes than their US counterparts, whereas Brainstorm looks to feature a much more detailed deco. There are also new images of Takara Tomy's Ultimate Optimus Prime. The AD31 will be a Japan only release and is a heavily modified version of the leader class mould. It will feature a premium paint job, reworked weapons and new head, chest and arms. A Lucky Draw limited edition silver version of the Generations Jetfire has been revealed. This will be the prize for a competition sponsored by Aeon Retail in Malaysia with three of the figures up for grabs. Also the Protector Bots multipacks have been found at retail in Asia. These are suspected to be an Asian exclusive but the three pack has appeared on Amazon.com. They feature the five Protector Bots across two multipacks. The Evac Squad set, which includes Hotspot and Blades, and the Emergency Response set, which includes First Aid, Streetwise and Groove, all of which are repaints or repurposes of existing moulds. Prime 1 Studio have posted new images and info of their Grimlock and Optimus Prime statue. Posted on their Facebook, the Grimlock and Prime version is revealed to stand around 60cm tall, is just under 90cm long, and features light-up eyes, mouth and base. The Optimus Prime statue will stand 29cm tall and features a semi-articulate upper torso. Transformers Collectors Club have revealed their next two subscription service figures. First up is Blocktown Cars app, based on an unreleased G2 concept from the 90s, which will also come with a GB Blackrock Creon figure. Next up was the Transformers slash G.I. Joe crossover Serpent OR, described as a mix of the greatest military minds from throughout human history meshed with Cybertronian technology. eHobby have updated their website with a pre-order page for Transformers Cloud Hellwarp. This is a redeco of Generation Skybite in Skywarp colours and will be exclusive to eHobby. Bad Cube have posted more images and info on their Brawny and Backland figures. Their Not Brawn and Outback will no longer feature the rubber coated tyres and the release date has been moved back to October. The eyes of Brawny have also been made brighter to make him feel more alive. They also posted official images of the figures on their Facebook page, most interestingly showing them lifting MP10 and his trailer above their heads, showing off the possibility and build quality of the figures. Mastermind Creations have revealed new images of their Zinnia. Part of their reformatted Fembot series, Zinnia is based on the G1 character Paradron Medic and now appears to be close to the finalised product, due for release on November the 5th. New images have been released of Warbatron's WB-03A. This is their unofficial afterburner and is the first of their unofficial Technobots. Weibo user Wangjo Dongman has also been kind enough to share some vehicle mode shots of the figure. This is due for release next month alongside the fourth of Warbatron's Combaticons. Uranus Secret Toys Garden has posted a gallery full of images of the Mate Toys Quantron. The images show the robot and alt modes for all the individual Technobots, the combined Quantron and packaging shots. For size comparison, Quantron is also shown alongside Mate Toys' other combiner, their Not Devastator Giant, standing just a little bit taller than him. A video review for the test shot of KTC's upcoming transistor figure has been posted on YouTube. Uploaded by Pjorg, this is their take on a masterpiece blaster and the figure featured in the video is only a test shot so it is still subject to change. Of note is that the transformation isn't as similar to MP Soundwave as originally thought but it does have the same tape deck gimmick allowing him to hold up to three tapes. Also KTC have teased their Conjet and Tank combiner cassettes. 
through Retro Robot Radio, they've revealed the recolors of their Air Dancer cassette combiner, which is three jets and three tanks that are able to combine into several different combinations. And sticking with cassettes, renders of KTC's Not Dial and Saw have been revealed. Fans are speculating that these could potentially be part of the upcoming Dino Minion set, a team of fan-made dinosaur support cassettes for the Dinobots. New images have appeared of Toy World's upcoming Dinobot Not Snarl figure. Weibo user Alucard Lee posted the images of the TWD-01 Raw, which included close-up shots of the robot mode, dino mode, and also the packaging. Via Big Bad Toy Store, Arc Studio have revealed a VIP figure set containing Spectra, Peacekeeper and Silverstorm, their homages to Smokescreen, Silverstreak and Prowl. The set costs $139.99 or you can buy them individually for $49.99 each. Pre-orders are available now. New images of Iron Factory's Turrets and Manacle 2 pack have appeared online. The IFEX-02 figures are Iron Factory's homage to Six Gun and Slammer. Their legends scale to work with Generations Metroplex and feature weaponry that can be disassembled and attached to the Metroplex figure. New images have surfaced of Dr. Wu's Hound Upgrade Kit. Created for the Age of Extinction Voyager Hound figure, the kit makes him more movie accurate, adding extra weapons and accessories and a big fat podge. But also quite hefty is the price at $33 which may put quite a few collectors off. And finally, the FP Core Trailer Steel Edition pre-orders have all sold out. Mentioned in last week's show, the deluxe set that will include both the Steel Core figure and Core Trailer has now gone. However, you can still buy the trailer on its own. And that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.